Welcome to everyone online who is joining with us this special Christmas Eve. Bring your elements for communion if you would like to celebrate with us. All responses will be printed on the screen. Christ is here on this night of nights, for Christmas arrives this night. Let us pray. Light of the world, shine upon us this night. Shine in our lives that we may shine with your love. Shine in our world with Christ's light. Shine through our worship that our souls may be strengthened. In the name of love, we pray. Amen. The scripture is from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 14. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was for the first census that took place while Gennaris was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judah, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. May God be with you, and, and also, also with, with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to God, most holy. It is right to give God thanks and praise. On this holy night, we come to taste anew the wonder of a holy love. We come in awe of the mystery of God, who became vulnerable, a needy baby, utterly dependent upon human warmth and care. We celebrate the mystery of the Anointed One, who offered warmth and care to others who are vulnerable and needy. We celebrate the mystery of love incarnate. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and, and might, might, heaven and, and earth, earth are full, full, full of, of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. On the night before Jesus died, he had supper with his disciples. He took the bread, thanked God for it, and broke it. And gave thanks to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, eat it. This is my body given for you. Each time you eat this bread, remember me. After supper, he took the wine, thanked God for it, and passed a cup of wine to his disciples. This cup is of the new promise God has made with you in my blood. Each time you drink from this cup, remember me. At this time, we also remember all who are poor, cold, and hungry, like the shepherds, that they may receive good news. We pray for all who are wandering and searching, like the Magi, that they may find the place to leave their gifts and their burdens. We pray for all who are busy, hurried, and preoccupied like the innkeeper, that they may know that 
peace that comes from genuine acts of hospitality. We pray for all like Herod, who have power, that they may use it with goodwill. We pray for ourselves, we who need comfort, peace, and joy, even in this starlit season and all the days of our lives. Amen. With the words Jesus taught us, we now pray to God, our Father and our Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In the bread broken and the cup poured, we proclaim the good news of Christ, which restores to memory and hope those who are broken and unremembered. We long for the bread of tomorrow and the wine of the age to come. Therefore, as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we sing, Christ Christ has has died, Christ Christ is risen, risen. Christ Christ will come come again. again. Come, life-giving Spirit of God, bring us together in the unity at your table. Shower us with your grace that we may know in the depths of our being that each one of us is dearly loved and warmly welcomed to this table of healing and holiness. May these gifts of life be a sign of your grace to us. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory is yours, God most holy, now and forever. Amen. 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 The bread of life. The cup of communion. The gifts of God for the people of God. Everyone who follows Jesus Christ, regardless of church affiliation, is welcome to come to this table. Come, for all things are ready. Let us partake together of the bread. The bread of life, gift for us. Let us partake of the cup together, the cup of blessing, gift for us. Let us pray together. Divine love, we have tasted the holy mystery of your incarnation in a little one. Be incarnate in our lives that we may love the little ones of this world as you have loved us. Celebrate Christmas with joy. We will celebrate. Give thanks wholeheartedly. We will celebrate. Celebrate family and friends near and far away. We will celebrate. We will support those who are vulnerable. We will hold securely to God's love, born in the babe born tonight. We will celebrate. Go in the hope, peace, joy, and love of the Christ child born this special night. 